Hey guys, I thought this would be an interesting topic to cover. So in a recent interview with KISS FM UK, I'll link their interview with Mark down below for those who wanted to watch the full thing, they spoke with Luke Skywalker himself. And during the interview, there was a piece where Mark tells the viewers his confusion with where Ryan Johnson was taking Luke's character in The Last Jedi. Mark had a real surprise when he heard that Luke says it's time for the Jedi to end. He then went on to literally say the same thing most of us are saying about The Last Jedi, that Luke was the most optimistic character and that the Jedi never give up or become jaded. Even if he's traumatized by something, as the way he was, Luke would go away for maybe six months, as Mark says, and then get over it and come to a resolve. But 20, 30 years in exile is just not like Luke's character. Seeing Luke the way we did in the film and being so sad and afraid of Ben was just very unlike Luke and didn't feel right at all. Now get this, in the concept art for the film, Mark mentioned, apparently, according to an interview online, that he wanted Luke to look mysterious, to sport a few rough looking scars, perhaps an eye patch or an earring, or something to show that he's been through stuff. Ahoy, me hearty! In another interview, now with Collider, he also had this to say about how Luke's arc ended in the film. I had huge hesitance. I was terrified. It was a growing sense of dread when I realized this was going to make sense in that chapter. It was not like I wrote the script and dropped it on their desk. It was very important to me that I was collaborating with the folks at Lucasfilm from the word go. I moved to San Francisco for a few months and would go in a few times a week to keep them up to date, spewing my ideas out, especially the big ones. Now, what Mark had to say about, spoilers, Luke's passing in The Last Jedi was this. Well, I'm still in denial. I just think he transported somewhere else. The first thing I said was, can't you wait and do this in episode 9? Now, I'm sure all of you have seen how Mark has gone to Twitter and Instagram and other social media to say that Ryan Johnson is a great director and writer. And while that may be true, I know a lot of us are left in the dark. What I wanted Luke to do, speculating on this film for the last two years, is to be this extremely powerful Jedi Grand Master who went far away to find the origins of the first Jedi Temple and study the ancient Jedi texts to fully unlock his powers in the Force. Not just as a Jedi, but as a Force user, bringing the Skywalker bloodline to its full potential. I would really like to make a fan fiction on how I think The Last Jedi could have gone differently. I absolutely feel Luke was underused in the film and hope that he will be used in episode 9, at least in flashbacks or in other ways. During filming, the way Luke's character was supposed to go, apparently, was even more off than what we got in the film. However, after going back and forth with Ryan and exchanging ideas with one another, they both began to work together synergistically and came to the movie that we have today. I can't stress enough how much I want Luke in episode 9, but the real Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi, broken from his shell. That wasn't the Luke that I was used to, not the one that I looked up to as a little boy. But I understand characters are dynamic and they change with time, so it is realistic in its own sense. However, just not the way I thought things would go. So let me know in the comments, guys. What do you wish Luke would have done in the film? Do you like it or did you hate it? Or are you on the fence and need to see it again and again to really understand what happened? Or perhaps we just need to wait until episode 9 answers all of our questions, hopefully. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you're all having an awesome day, and I will see you in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember... The Force will be with you always.